review guy here today. Today we got a review that I will be reviewing very momentarily and shortly. But before that, I would like to say something. There is a YouTube channel out there called Cooking with Shotgun Red. Now, I haven't been watching them that long, but probably since March, I guess. Well, after a while, let's see, it's been about, oh, six weeks, I guess, since he put out a video. I was like, man, I wonder why he hadn't put out a good cooking video lately. So I Googled it and found out he passed away, like, about five weeks ago, so I'm kind of like, you know, a little bit late on it, but if you haven't seen it or don't know his channel, you should go to it. He has good recipes. Uh, some of it's like stuff that maybe you wouldn't want to eat, but you know, he like he does deer like deer meat recipes, and he makes jerky. He smokes meats, all kinds of cool stuff with lots of seafood and. Anyway, if y'all like good cooking videos, I know his YouTube video, his YouTube channel is still out there because I went and saw it yesterday, I guess, is when I found out he died, so I went and still watched some of his old videos. And the last one, he was actually doing something with a rabbit, which you know, I'm not into, so I just didn't watch that channel. Okay, so now I'm having something more important here. I got a tool to review somewhere around here. Where'd that thing go? Oh, here it is. <clears throat> Bam, fell out of my pocket. Okay, so today, the review guy will be reviewing the Craftsman. Uh, sorry, been a long day. The Craftsman uh, razor blade knife thing. Okay, so I got this yesterday. I was at Lowe's. As y'all know that Sears is no longer like in business or they're about out of business anyway. I mean, they're really close to bankruptcy if they hadn't already had bankruptcy. So I'm guessing they got probably about another year or two maybe before they're no longer in existence. So Lowe's bought up all the Craftsman stuff. If any of y'all I know the Midwest doesn't have many Lowe's. There's Menards and the uh, Home Movies. I think there's a Home Depot. I know last time I went to Chicago, there was a Home Depot there, but mainly Menards. But if you live in the heat, in Texas, places that have Home Depots and Lowe's, go to Lowe's, you'll see that they got everything Craftsman. So this tool here, it's a nice tool. And I need a box cutter to uh, cut boxes. My mother-in-law asked me if I had one the other day because she needed me to cut out a box and ended up using a pocket knife because I didn't have a freaking box cutter. So later on that day, or that was Saturday, so yesterday, Sunday, I went and I bought this one. Now, I'm thinking, okay, this was $10 and some change, I believe, which is okay for craftsmen. Now, I have yet to use it, but I can already see some stuff I don't like about it. The one thing I don't like is, is like if you get a Stanley ones, you don't have to press down on this all the way to get the blade to extract. This one you have to freaking really push on. Sometimes it doesn't even open. So, that's one thing I don't really like about it. The other thing is this one here, the... Uh, the first time I opened it, the blade thing, the storage pouch thing, it wouldn't close like it's not doing right now, which I don't know why. The blades are in position. There it goes. It's like sometimes the blades, I think I saw what happened there though. Let me get it up close to the camera, but I think what happened is these blades, you can see this button's flimsy too, but I think what happens is, is when these blades get up forward like that, just even a little bit, it won't close. So you gotta make sure it's all the way closed. Well, see that again here, it's still not closed. Okay, you gotta make sure it's all the way retracted like so. There we go. It'll shoot even, even then, it's not really closing. Anyway, I, hang on, let me get this closed. 
Yeah, see, it doesn't close. Even the blades are all the way back, and it won't close. It's just got to be, it's got to be just right, man, for it to lock. Which is a flaw in my opinion, because when you buy a utility blade, you just want to use it, build, change the blade quickly. Now it does have a quick release, so you take the blade out, load it back in, so it's quick to change out. And this is like the ten dollar one. They got one that I think that was like six bucks. That depending on your needs and what you're going to use it for, maybe the six dollar one will fit you better. I don't know, but. I think in the, ever since about two years ago, I think Craftsman has gone down the hill. I used to have a bunch of Craftsman tools about 10 years ago. Still have some of them, but I wouldn't buy any more. Like this utility knife, they used to be made in the U.S. I don't know if y'all remember that back in, when I was growing up. Anything Craftsman, U.S., USA, you could count on it. Like, it was always made in the U.S. Well. This, I know for a fact, it's in on the package, is not made here, it's made in China. So it's the Chinese that have problems like fixing small flaws. So yes, most of your craftsman tools nowadays are not actually made in the States. But, you know, other than a few little issues, I mean, it's not a bad utility blade. I mean, going back at it, I just wanted to try something Craftsman one time just to see if they still have good quality tools. But judging by this thing, having a few issues with the, the opening it and like grinding on it. See, like this, you know how the, they got that. You have to push that all the way down to make it open. You can't just, like if you have a Stanley, because I used to have a Stanley, you could just do this and it would open. You know, you barely push it down, the thing will all just open all the way. You didn't have to like put so much pressure on it. And even when you do that, see like when you retract it, right? Look, this is an example. When you retract it, it just does it like that, that easy. Well, if you get a Stanley one, it'll do that going forward. So you don't have to really put much pressure on the, you know, knob to like open it. So that's one thing that's a pet peeve of mine that I do not like about this thing. But like I said, I'm probably going to use it twice and then lose it. So it's not a tool that I'm going to use to count on for many years or anything. All right. So that would be that. So it's a good utility knife if you're looking for one. Personally, I would probably get a Stanley. All right. See what else to talk about. Uh... I haven't been out in the range, haven't had time to shoot the uh, computer that I have I need to destroy. All I was trying to a couple weeks back, but never really panned out, so I just didn't do it. But I plan on doing it pretty soon, probably. Maybe the next week or so. Uh, let's see, I think that's about it. Oh, I have a video that I need to post that is... This may be dumb, but about a week ago, they were pouring a foundation across the street from me because they're finally building houses across the street. So I actually recorded that, but I don't know if anybody would be interested in seeing that, but I can record that. Or not record, I already did. I can post it, see if anybody likes it. Anyway, that's about all today for me. I just wanted to review that utility blade. Uh, so like I said, if you're looking for a utility blade, I'd probably go for Stanley just because they're better quality. And uh, be sure to check out that guy's cooking channel, Cooking with Shotgun Red. Just type it in the box. It'll come up. His real name, I believe, is Steve Hall. Yes. So that's all I got today. Y'all have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye now.